Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 brawlers which I've completely forgotten about within the game right now. There's a lot of brawlers in the game, so it's quite easy to forget that some brawlers do exist, especially when they're pretty trash. So let's just dive into it then. So the first one, I think probably has fallen off the most and I've just completely forgotten about, especially when I play Power League, it is Bonnie. So Bonnie used to always be the go-to brawler, super versatile. I used to play it everywhere, specifically in Heist. And now even in Heist, I just don't even consider her. The main reason being, because she's so easy to counter and now with the projectile speed being nerfed whoops, a lot of months ago it's just really hurt her even though she's get she's got the uh, extra gadget charge gear which can help her in some situations to make more pop-off plays but again i just think there's just too many brawlers in the meta in heist in particular which will just deal a lot more consistent damage and especially with hypercharge as well so bonnie is just completely forgotten about next up on the most forgotten list we have a doug and even though doug is quite a new brawler in the game so you won't think most people forget about him i just completely have forgotten about him especially at the higher tier of brawl stars he's just impossible to push and i just don't even think about picking him in battle league like there's not even one consideration at least with pretty much every single other brawler in the game i might consider but i'll never consider a dog he's got such a limited range and i feel like supercell i've forgotten about him as well because he's not really getting any meaning meaningful buffs in the last i don't know ever since his introduction right the thing is with dog you gotta be careful that you don't make him broken because that, that super can be very scary uh, reviving someone but again he's just completely forgotten about and never seen so next up on the most forgotten list we have pam so pam i don't ever really forget about pam but i feel like the majority of the player base really do again she's a brawler which has never really seen the meta in years now people sometimes overrate her especially when she gets a few buffs in certain ways especially with the mythic gear and the recent buff to the healing that definitely got overlooked and ever since literally a week after that she was just never really seen again. She's always a decent option in a lot of different settings, but I feel like there's just a lot better options pretty much every single time. Even in Hot Zone, which is supposed to be our best game mode, there's just other brothers which are better. Also, Pam is just pretty easy to counter as well, so you just don't really see it too often. And she's not exactly the most fun brawler either, so she's just always been used, well, pretty. The next up on the most forgotten list, we have Ash. So the only people that really haven't forgot about Ash is the competitive players because Ash was so good in competitive for a long time and then as hype charges have came out within the last four plus months Ash has just been completely forgotten about there's just so many brawlers in the meta right now that just clearly overpower him in terms of just damage up close as well they can get so many knockbacks stuns with Maisie in the meta recently and just fang all of these brawlers just overpower him so much so there's just never ever a reason to even use Ash and already he was one of the least used brawlers across the brawl stars anyway in terms of just just a casual player base so for me he's completely forgotten about and i never even consider him when i'm playing power league so next up on the most forgotten list we have willow so ever since willow's introduction she's always been really underwhelming i think right now she's in an okay state but again i always just forget about it because you just got better throwers at the moment you've of course got larry and laurie you've got dynamite with the hypercharge and i even prefer barley as well because he's just more consistent across the board so what even is the point of willow really in the meta a super can be good but then it's just so hard to hit and it's so so awkward with so many bugs so for me willow's just always been forgotten hopefully she'll be at least relevant in a meta pretty soon so next up on the list we have a roof so roofs has always been one of the least played brawlers in brawl stars but in competitive it was always really strong and always had a use case but right now again with hypercharges he's just been so just out of the meta there's just no reason to even consider a roofs and super squishy doesn't have enough damage to keep up with the damage inflation which is going on right now and it's been a big shame and again people just don't really like brawlers that you know have the kind of bounce off a wall for example like rico ruffs so actually one of the least played brawlers in the game so for me ruffs has just always been forgotten about so next up on the most forgotten list we have daryl so daryl recently got a buff one of the only few brawlers to get a buff within the last set of balance changes a couple of months ago and he got a boost to his projectile speed but let's face it it literally did nothing some people tried to claim that daryl got a lot stronger because of it and it, it didn't do anything it, it did zero things for him you might it might just feel a bit better but he just can't really compete with all the hype charges going on you try and play daryl in heist and it's just a bazillion brawlers that have hype charge that out dps him you try and play him in other game modes where he used to be a good counter pick to some certain compositions 
and he just gets pushed all over the place. So for me, I completely forgot he exists. He doesn't really serve a purpose in the meta right now. Next up on the most forgotten list, we have Gus. I even forgot about him because I absolutely love playing Gus, but meta speaking, he has completely dropped off. And there's a few reasons why, because snipers like uh, Nani, Mandy, Piper have been buffed pretty recently. There's also, again, hypercharges, which are his biggest weakness, any type of aggression, and tanks just in general have got hypercharges as well. And of course, that Kooky Popper getting nerfed, he's just not really relevant at all. In knockout and bouts, you could always go a Gus, and right now, Gus is a throw pick. He's absolutely terrible. He used to also just be good in general in a lot of different game modes as well as a gem carrier or just in hot zone providing a lot of support. But right now, he's completely forgotten. I think I've maybe seen him once in Power League in about 5,000 plus games. I don't even know. I just never see him. So next up on the most forgotten list, we have Penny. So Penny got a rework a year ago or so, and she was meta for like a good year because she got some good buffs as well. And then once she received a couple of nerfs, she just slowly dropped out of the meta and now she's just completely forgotten. There's just a lot of new brawlers in the game which have better mechanics and Penny's just completely fell to the bottom. She just can't keep up with the fast paced meta. She doesn't deal enough damage and it, I don't know, she's just completely outdated at the moment. And it feels like, again, Supercell have just forgotten about Penny because she was this shiny new toy, which when they gave her a rework and a remodel, you know, everybody loved Penny, but now, no one just uses it whatsoever. It's just zero use case for her.